So I'm John Clark, um, gym owner, athlete, coach. My Essentially, I guess what I'm known for at the minute is running 48 marathons in 48 days in 48 counties for the Miles for Meals initiative that was kindly supported by Scimitar as well. Um, so the aim was to run a marathon a day in every county to raise awareness for food hunger and food poverty that exists in our country and to try and raise significant funds that will make a difference to our nation's food banks. Uh, I'm told it's a world first. I uh, can't call it a world record because Guinness weren't involved. Um, so essentially a lot of training. It took six months of specific preparation for the 48. Um, went from struggling to run a half marathon to running three marathons in three days. Um, and that was kind of like the litmus test for the challenge. Like if I could do three and three, then it then just became mental toughness in, in getting through it. So, so yeah, six weeks out, we then tapered down and then cracked on in beginning of July and finished in middle of, well, middle of August. Daily doubt every time. If you're doing a challenge that big, there's always the doubt, can I finish this? Can I get another day done? Can I continue to move forward? Um, the first few weeks, it was ankles, knees, hips, and then eventually the body got on board and adapted to what we were trying to do. And then it just became around managing the feet. So blisters, calluses, stress fractures, all that other stuff that came with it. So yeah, daily doubt, daily injuries, pain and suffering, but that's the nature of these challenges. You don't do it expecting it to be easy. And uh, it definitely wasn't. So part of the challenge was to raise awareness as much as it was to raise funding. So Scimitar essentially designed our incredible running kit. So we wanted to have a kit that stood out, um, people would want to buy, and then also support the charity by proxy. So yeah, Scimitar were integral to that. So every time that we ran, people knew while we were running, what we were running for, and how to get involved in the challenge. So yeah, Scimitar were integral to that first initiative, which was to raise awareness. Essentially, we raised, in the end, 41,000 pounds. Um, 20 and a half of that is going straight to the Trussell Trust. So the Trussell Trust manage our nation's food banks. So that money will go directly into under-resourced food banks. So where well, that's essentially, there's not enough food for the amount of people that need it. The other half will go to Miles for Meals, which I'm a trustee of. And within that, that's a grant-based organization. So the 20 and a half thousand pound is now available for application. So community groups, churches, organizations, other charities, if they're working with children living in food poverty and can add value, make a difference and help, then that money is available for application um, and will support a wide range of, um, of projects around the country. Just head to milesformeals.co.uk and all the information's on there. So for me, I will be attempting to be the first person to complete the Marathon de Saab and the Atlantic Ocean Row in the same 12 month period. So next March, I've got 250 kilometers through the Sahara Desert, followed by December, a 3000 mile row across the Atlantic Ocean. And then I think I'm gonna retire from stupidity um, before stupidity gets me. So yeah, that, that'll be the next, the next great adventure.